What's up everyone, welcome back to the second channel. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to connect your Magic Mouse or really anything like that, a Magic Trackpad 1, Magic Trackpad 2, whatever the case is, to any iPad that is running iOS 13.4 or around that version. Now you can still do this on below versions on iPad OS 13, but it doesn't really work as well unless you're on 13.4 because a lot of the features that I'm going to be demonstrating here are really only iPad OS 13.4 and above features. And I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to do that. The first thing you want to have is an iPad that is either an iPad Pro, an iPad Mini 4, or any iPad Air version that's on iPad OS 13, and as well as the iPad 5th generation and above, you know, those like cheaper models. If you have any of those models, this method will work. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your Magic Mouse, Magic Trackpad, or whatever the case is, even Bluetooth mouses from Amazon will work, they don't have to be Apple products, and you wanna first turn it on, okay? And once you have it on, if you have it connected to a MacBook or iMac or whatever already, you wanna first disconnect it from those specific things. You can just click on it and click forget device. That's the first thing you need to do. So once you have that and this is fully connected and ready to be found, all you wanna do is turn it on, you know, click it a few times to make sure it's on, and you wanna go into your settings app, and then you wanna click on Bluetooth, and as you'll see, you'll have a couple of different options as usual, but you'll see the one that says Systems Administrator's Mouse. Now this will be totally different on everyone's mouse, it might say Magic Mouse 2 or whatever the case is, but what you wanna do is as soon as you see that option, you just wanna click on it, and as you can see, you might have to turn off Bluetooth a couple of times to turn it on, but you wanna click on pair. And then once you click on it, as you can see, you might get a little mouse thing that comes up. And as you can see, the little cursor thing, that is actually the mouse. Now, what is really cool about this is that there's so much functionality with this specific thing. As you can see, I'm moving this around and also moving that cursor around. What's really cool is that the gesture support is also enabled within iPad OS 13.4. So as you can see, I can maneuver through the pages just by swiping up at the top of the mouse, which is really, really cool. I can swipe down, I can swipe up, with it too. And what's really cool is let's say if I go into a web page of some sort, as you can see, I can actually swipe through the pages on this thing with you with just by using this thing, which is really cool. And I can also move the little scroll ball around. But I can also maneuver these things around. I can get this out of the way if I want to. And there are a ton of cool little features within iPad OS 13.4 that makes this thing really worthwhile, just like little things like that. Now another thing to keep in mind is that there are also new settings within the setting general, which is right here. And if I scroll down to trackpad and mouse, you'll see that there's a couple of new options. You can see natural scrolling. You can see the tracking speed, whether you want it faster or slower. I think right here is about good. You can also enable secondary clicks. So when you click on the right side or something, it can actually enable something. So I'll go ahead and click this and I can mess with this later too to get more settings out of it. Now some more additional settings are within accessibility. So if I click there, I could go ahead and scroll down to pointer control, which is right there. And as you can see, you have a ton of more settings right here, which are really, really cool. Starting with the top, you can increase the contrast so you can make it gray or you can make it like this. I like it a little bit like this to make it better. You can automatically hide the pointer to a allotted amount of seconds. You can also change the color of that pointer. So let's say I want it blue. I can actually make that thing blue if you guys can tell, which is kind of unnecessary. You can change it red if you want. You can change it yellow if you want. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna be on none for now because it kind of looks cooler when I do that. And what's really cool is you might've noticed that when you actually hover over a certain thing just like that, you can see that the mouse actually goes away and it just turns into kind of like a block. And I actually do like that a lot. I think some people might not like that, but I personally like that. I think that's actually really, really cool. And it really didn't take me that long to figure it out. Like I got used to it like immediately. It's not even that big of a deal. Now you can change these things. You can change the pointer animations as well, which I really don't even know what that means. And you can change the scrolling speed too, so you can make it faster or slower. If you make it super slow, as you can see, it kind of bogs down a little bit. If you make it fast, it turns it much faster, I think. Now, if you click on this thing right here, you'll actually be going back into that specific page we were kind of in earlier, which is the Bluetooth panel. But you can go on and click on your system mouse, whatever. You can click on customize control. And I went ahead and clicked on the right button. And as you can see, it enables it as button two. And what you can do here is you can click on that button and you can make that turn into something else. And what I would really recommend is if you have an iPad that has a home button, I'd recommend clicking the home button and then going from there because that'll enable so you don't have to click the home button every time. And then I go ahead and click enable and I'll go ahead and do it so that every time I click this button right here, it should take me home, which is really, really cool. So if you can double tap it, you can get into your all this little multitasking panel and everything. And that's really pretty much it, man. It's a really cool little update. I think I would highly recommend you guys if you're in the market and if you already have a Magic Mouse and an iPad, definitely utilize it. This is the first iPad Pro that came out, the at least a 9.7 inch model. And I would highly recommend you guys to download it. So that's the process as well as a couple of tips too. If you guys have any questions or run into any issues, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really discount. Send me so much if you guys could hit that. 
Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.